Yep, bees work pretty hard. In order to gather enough nectar to produce, say, one kilogram of honey, the hive will have to make over four million flower visits. And these tireless workers need our help. But not with the pollen and nectar gathering, rather to stop a parasitic beetle. The bee's ability to create honey out of nectar has meant humans have set up hives in nearly every country on the planet. Unfortunately, a parasitic beetle has followed them, the small hive beetle. Hi, I'm Brogan, and I'm studying how to stop these pesky beetles from taking over honeybee hives. Small hive beetles are pests that invade beehive colonies. They crawl into the hive and lay their eggs in the brood comb, which is where the bee larvae live. When the hive beetle larvae hatch out, they eat the baby bees and the honey in the cell. They then crawl out of the hive and into the soil below where they pupate and hatch into adults, ready to invade the next hive. Not only that, but the poo of the larvae can ferment, causing a gross slime to form which infests the entire colony. So what are the bees to do? Well, they can try and sting the beetles, but this generally isn't successful, as the beetle's exoskeleton is almost impenetrable. They can also try and aggressively chase the beetles out of the colony, but the beetles can move a lot faster than the bees, so they usually avoid their attacks. Bees have even been reported as coating the beetles in wax to stop them moving around. But all this work defending the colony from attack can take its toll. If the worker bees are spending all their time chasing the beetles, they are spending less time collecting nectar, making honey and looking after their young and the queen. And despite the bees' efforts, the beetles will usually just hide at the bottom of the hive, waiting for their next chance to run out and lay their eggs. So to give our honey-producing friends a helping hand, we've been researching how to use a type of pest control that doesn't use pesticides. It uses this special board. The board has a grate at the bottom, which stops the honeybees from getting through, but allows the smaller hive beetles to crawl through and hide at the bottom of the hive. Now you may be thinking we've created a safety zone for the beetles, but this isn't the case. We've placed a special powder at the bottom of the board, diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth, or DE, is a silica powder which completely covers the beetles when they run to the bottom of the hive to hide. The powder allows moisture to escape from the beetles, causing them to dehydrate. We also suspect the DE might stop the beetle being able to smell in its environment, so it can't find food or a mate. To work out if this is the case, we've been analysing the beetles using a scanning electron microscope. By taking a closer look, we can understand exactly how the DE powder affects their bodies. There's a lot of research to be done, but it looks like this is going to be a safe and effective method for controlling the beetles, without harming the bees, so they can go about their business of making honey. Having a peaceful picnic in the great outdoors? You need some arthropods. This message was proudly brought to you by Arthropod World. It scarcely seems fair, but I'm afraid the show is over. <laughs> don't let it get you down though, just visit our website for even more information. And don't forget to fly, crawl or scuttle in next time, when the ordinary becomes extraordinary. Under the scope. <laughs> <laughs>